What's going on you guys? My name is Matt Pinello with Matt Bangs Wood and we are back with season two of a build series. This place is a two story, super detailed porch up top, LVL floor system. This place is gonna get intricate, but it's gonna be fun. Behind me, I have a beautiful foundation that was poured. We poured it a couple weeks ago. We are now prepped to start framing. We're gonna get all of our plate over here today. Get ready for framing. Send it. Got Quentin going nuts, cleaning up all of our threads on our bolts. We're gonna go around and straighten all those right now. How are they, Quentin? Oh, beautiful. Now the goal is to get these things as straight as possible. Let's make it easy when we frame. So we want these things as straight as possible for when we plate. That way everything works out good. We'll drill our holes, they'll line up perfectly, drop down. When they're crooked, it's a pain to work with. So the way we mark out our bolts, set your plate up just like that, hold it up against your bolts just like so and mark both sides. Find center of your bolt, we're looking at two and seven sixteenths. You wanna pull the opposite way. Mark two and seven sixteenths. Do the same with each and every one of those. Two and a half, and the reason you pull backwards is to where when you flip your plate up and go to put it on your bolts, it hides all your writing to where you have a clean plate to lay out on. A little difficult one-handed. Just like that. Now where you have your bolts, you have no writing. This little section in here gets fun. That's gonna be a half wall. The stairs start at that corner and go up, whoop, all the way up. I don't even wanna jinx it, but the same guy that drew this place is the same one that drew our last project for season one. And I'm hoping he figured out his stairs a little bit better for this project. I'm gonna wrap up these last two little sections here, go around and do top plate and we'll be done. We are double plated, bottom plate and top plate hanging from the side, perfect to lay out with. This guy here carries all the way through for our garage top plate. Those are ran a little bit long like I was explaining to you guys. Once our trimmer's in, we'll go ahead and cut that, make it perfect, make sure our opening is 16 foot from there to there. We are plated everywhere. It's wall framing day, Quentin. Mm -hmm. It's wall framing day. You don't seem too excited, buddy. I literally couldn't sleep last night. You couldn't sleep last night? Too excited. Too excited about wall framing day? Me too.
Because you know what I did at home yesterday? What? I take tests like at, like every other week. For what? To do measuring tests. Why? So I'm just refreshed so I don't know like so I'm not like so it's not a good uh -huh. And yesterday I did I got hundred percent and today I got fucking thirty three percent. So we got layout going here, we're all laid out down. Two by four wall and far wall got laid out already. Quentin's cutting all of our packages. We have our bottom crib, top crib sills. I cut all of our headers with the beam saw. We got our first wall up, super stoked on that. We're gonna hammer down and get this one done here. Sun is shining, 75 degrees out here in sunny California. Can't ask for much more. Damn good day to be framing.
that whole wall is framed. All those guys over there are wrapped up. We just have the garages to do and we'll be done. Wrap this thing in OSB and we're ready for a floor system. Day one though, for it being a Saturday and a short day, we did good. Bye guys. you guys Saturday is done all of our walls are up except for the garage wall behind me and the garage wall over there we're gonna get those figured out on Monday unfortunately as you saw in that last video we had a little bit of a mishap I ended up blowing a tire on the freaking reach lift good morning get this lift fired up open up the job box be having things so we got all of this sheeted it's all 3 8 6 and 12 nailing we got that section done, that, and then there. We're gonna get that long run done right now. But we're gonna go ahead and get this sheeted right now. Like you guys saw in season one, we're gonna toss nails under each and every stud. Layout was pulled from there this way. So we're gonna start with one sheet there, sheet out this way. reveal all the way up beautiful beautiful Bosch router is working killer. Got those two zipped out real quick. We're gonna get this one right here. <laughs> three routed over here we're gonna hop over to the back side do the ones in the garage we can't do the middle one because the header is not dropped in yet but we'll get the two outsides there and there we'll be good to go <laughs> beat it at all makes a mess not gonna lie but you can't cut straighter or quicker with a saw 
I'll have a link to that router and the bit we're using in the description down below. We're having a short day today. I'm not gonna be here a whole heck of a lot longer. So we've got this wall framed. Whoop. We're gonna come over here and bang out this one here real quick. So we've got that wall ready to go up. It's plated five and a half over to hang over that wall there. That one's ready to go up as well. That plate ran long, so we took five and a half off that way to where when it goes up, that plate overlaps. We have these strong walls here, one, two, and three. Those go in, and then we have post bases, which was the death of our tire, that go there, 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 and there underneath our trimmers. They have a standoff those will tighten down to our stem walls trimmer sits on top of that holds the header we're gonna have to put in the strong wall fasten that down post base on both sides trimmers in all the way around then go ahead and drop our headers in We'll go ahead and smack these bits back there. Man, you guys, that's beautiful. We have an HDU2 that goes there, fastens to that doubler. And then another one that fastens to that doubler. We could stand this little guy, I guess. Thank you. 
we have a China. Matt can't bang nails in the right spot. Progress, you guys, progress. HD2 will go there. Anchor bolt. Anchor bolt and anchor bolt. Ooh, we got a tight one. We have to check the plans for that. I'm not sure if that's an HD2 or an HD4. Well, shoot it. Woo! So then in a perfect world. Should have the same number. Yes. Yeah. 203. Haha, <laughs> 203 and a 16th. Perfect. Oh, oh baby 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 money 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 so that was a mission that was a one and three quarter by 20 inch cut at 203 inches which is 16 foot 11 inches i'm only putting up the one i'm going to take off these chicken sticks that i put out here on the outside shear from there over and then i can wrap that whole thing come back down this side and it will be done that strap detail runs from about there back onto that plate ties those two together so we'll make sure we got good nailing don't you think I want you guys to see that. Look at that. That's what we're after. Go up. Now I'm thinking I'll pull, I'll pull down. Okay. Hold. That's a beautiful thing right there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Owner's helped us out with this triple LVL here. Monster going in here. We have a four ply LVL going through here, inch and three quarter by 24. And then the garage headers out there that we're gonna take care of right now. Strong walls are going in. That one there, that one's tempted up. Run a string from there to there. Get that one cut. Beams dropped in. Thank you. 
I got it. Rappy, 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 rappy. Wrap it on up. Give you guys a look at what we had going on. So we have these post base with standoff, a pressure treated king stud that goes up, an ECCQ goes up there, triple LVL goes over to there. We need that six by and that one will be dialed in, get our headers dropped in tomorrow morning. Look how clean that is. So the ECCQ is actually notched inside of the six by six post. I'll show you guys that in just a second. I have that one to do and that one over there. It's notched into the back. That way, when it rests up against the pressure-treated 2x6 here, everything buries and it looks freaking tight. Yeah, goal for today. Get that one in over there. Beam set. Top plates ran. This place will be looking good. And a very warm welcome to Quinny Poo. He's been sick for like six weeks. On the brink of death, he's back. What does your shirt say? I ate some pie and it was delicious. Post base with our standoff put down into here. Our material that we're working with is 17 and 7 eighths. So we're gonna go ahead and pull that from the top down. I have a mark up there. We'll measure from our standoff up to that line. We're looking at 86 and 7 eighths. We'll take our six by. 86 and 7 eighths. That's where it would be if you didn't have a bucket. Since we have a bucket, we want to take the thickness of this bucket and subtract that from our post height as well. So 3 16 off of this. That's where we'll make our cut. Super Sasquatch comes out. <sighs> we hand me the end of that cord. All right, so now that we have that cut, this is going to go just like this. So this is gonna sit on here just like this. Notice one thing though, right along here, you can see there's a bit of a gap. And the reason being, all of this is welded. So you have welds in here and welds right there. So when you go to put that on, those welds are actually holding it out. Here's how you fix it. Take your saw. Now we slide it on and as you can see, we can sit all the way down, tight to the top. We're not gonna stop there though. So now we've got it tight from our post cap down to our post. We're gonna go ahead and mark this out here and notch it. That way, that right there is sunk into the six by six, leaving that flush with our two by six king stud there. That, we're good to go. So now the reason we do that as you guys can see, that all sits flush now.
nice and flush. We will have to scarf out our king stud over there. That way our SDS heads don't hold us out. All right. So now that we've got our post in, you'll notice that we're tight at the bottom and that we have a little bit of a gap at the top. And that is because the heads of our SDSs are holding us out. We're gonna go ahead and mark there, mark there. Don't want to ruin a saw blade today. But we're just going to take our saw. Drop it in. And that should do it. We can go ahead and stab our post back in. Notice how much tighter that is. That's what we're after right there. That's beautiful. Now we'll get this top one in. But as you can see, that is tight as can be. That one's done, that one's done. I just wanted to take a moment to show you guys the process of what we did with those two on that one. I'm gonna go ahead and haul out and get this one dialed in here. We'll be ready to set beams. Quentin's nailing off some ST6224 hardware, strapping the beam to the top plate on both sides. All right, that should do it. Should suck up nicely. Oh, sorry. Money, money, money. So now that we've got all four of our trimmers and our ECCQs in, we're gonna go ahead and cut our LVL, get those dropped in, top plate it, and this is wrapped up. Headers are both in, top plated all the way through. We just braced from there down to there and there up to there. That'll lock us in both ways. Monster beam. For this one, we'll go from here over to there.
looking good. These guys are getting dropped in. I'm gonna shoot them over with the lift right now. We have one that goes in here. We have two that go out there and we're dialed. It's going in. She's coming. Like it? Yep. All right, you guys, so the last two that we have to do are right over here. We just got those set up here. Finish those after break. This floor is freaking massive. No joke, you could put a lot of weight up on this thing. 12 inches on center, all LVL on this side. It's ridiculous. We've got our cut table up here, cut all the blocks for our edge of building. Fox is throwing those in right now. Those are all the way down there. That'll be edge of building, two by six wall inside there. Cuts all of our deck, slope that away. We'll have a two by six block that goes in here for our sheathing the nail onto. I went ahead and got all these guys cut here though. We're looking good, nice and straight. I'd rather them take a little bit longer and cleaner than. Oh, I'll eyeball it. Eyeball it? Yeah.
going on, you guys. Sound of money. Ah, that's beautiful. Pin this through there, have it damn near pop out the back side. That way, when we go to stand this wall, those nails help hold it. Quick little tip. Showing you guys this before, set it in between there, mark there, mark there. Throw it in there. Then when it comes time to nail that, you don't have to pull any funky layouts. To do, to do. that in get good nails on one side good nails on the other side so we have one window here we have the remains of a window here and I have half of a window here let's play a game called route the windows in less than a minute we're gonna flip on the old router right now and go nuts one minute on the clock That should have been done in less than a minute, but... Oh, I missed that whole section too. We had some technical difficulties. Beast! Damn! Beast. Super Sasquatch! Alright.
did not swing left handed. We have a four foot level up here. Uh, not that I know of. Nail it. You're good. Get that side, let's go. Don't push it over. All right, all three of us, let's go. These are the things I really wanted you guys to see about what we do and how things go. Um, trusses were supposed to be there at 9. We got a call right now saying they just got there. It's 11.15. Two hours and 15 minutes we had four guys waiting. I'll let you guys do the math. <laughs> That's good. Ready? Let's go back. Alright. Up, up, and away. Right behind you, Mota. I like how they're putting the slope and the roof and the trusses instead of going back through and cricketing everything. Thank you. 
Sorry. Yep, you're good. Okay. Just like that, it all went together, nice and smooth. That looking good. We're gonna get this left out of the way. Finish our layout down this way. Start slapping these guys in here. Same thing over there. And we should be looking pretty dang wrapped up by the end of the day. Quick little tip for you guys as well. Nail there, nail there. These guys are just hanging. You can pull it up, throw it on in. We're rolled out though. Q's getting all of our trusses over here right now. We have layout over here. Yeah, layout. Better grip right now. Wait up. That's us. Good. Let me kick this out to you. I've got the top. And the bottom. Now that plane's through. How's the bottom? We can always push it up. Oh, that's pretty damn good. Then your bottom fucks. Looks pretty good right there. Looks, uh... Send it, Fox. Okay. That was a good one. Hips work out beautiful, man. Oh, you got it. You can pin that way. I'm just sending it. From the ground up is coming to a close. This is the last episode you guys will see on this project and there is absolutely no building in this episode whatsoever. This is our final walkthrough. Now we will be doing more stuff on this project later on, but for now, our framing is complete. I have to say it's a bittersweet moment. You guys have seen this whole entire project start to finish with me from the concrete getting poured to the framing, floor system framing again, roof system. So in the last episode, you guys saw all of these trusses getting rolled. Fairly simple, straightforward roof system. As we take a cruise around this place, you can see that our hips worked out beautifully. So now I wanna make sure we get some knowledge dropped in this video. This little guy right here, typically done with one by four, done here with OSB, doesn't matter either way. We'll have a piece of flashing that comes out, down, and then this piece of flashing for the roof will come up underneath it and waterproofing. Let's walk the rest of this. So now our hips worked out beautifully. We've got our parapet all the way around. Looks super nice. 
So now Quentin's doing a very good cleanup for us right now, getting this place completely blown out of sawdust, all the nails picked up, ensuring that this place is perfect and ready to hand over to the homeowners. Let's cruise down though and check out the rest. That's one thing I absolutely cannot stand. It's projects where you walk down the stairs and hit your head. This is way up there. Stairs came out beautiful. Fascia is laser straight. Now as we walk into here, we have the great room. Big entertainment area here. Fireplace goes in there. Two bedrooms off to the sides. One bedroom here, nice size closet. Bathroom here. Same thing here, we have another bedroom. Nice size closet. Another small bathroom.